Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a one brand tutorial featuring Tarte. I have a bunch of brand new products from Tarte from the Rainforest of the Sea collection. Can't wait to show you. I am filming the first part of this video as a part of another video, so I'll explain. Um, today, simultaneously, I'm filming the Tarte one brand tutorial, but I'm also doing the foundation review and demo, and I'll be checking in with the new foundation throughout the day. So you're going to see me in the same getup. Um, I'm going to change throughout the day, of course, but First thing in the morning, I have my hair in my headband to do my um, heatless curls. I'll try to link that video below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. When I take it down, my hair should be nice and curly. Um, but anyway, so what I did today is I used the Tarte um, H2O drink of H2O Hydrating Boost um, Moisturizer and uh, my Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. And then I'm only going to be applying my Tarte Primer to one part of my face, not the other half. So my primer is going to be right here and right here. That's it. Only where the pores are most noticeable and where I have a more texture. The other side of my face has no primer. And the foundation of the day is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation. This is the Water Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 15 sunscreen. And I have it in the shade Light Medium Neutral. Um, it says Shake Well, so I will shake it for you. Um, the foundation packaging is... The exterior box is beautiful, I will say that. Um, I'm going to have more info about the foundation in the foundation review. So um, I'm not going to actually show it applied here. I'm just going to come back and my foundation will be applied and you'll know that the foundation review is a separate video and you will be able to see that. So um, anyway, this foundation, the exterior packaging of like the box that you buy it in is amazingly beautiful. I love it. I'll show that in the foundation review video since I just threw it away. But um, the um, packaging for the actual foundation is just okay. I like that the lid is kind of like an ombre, like sunset purple looking thing. But um, you just untwist the top and pull it up, and then you press the top thingy to like like a dropper to get more foundation out. I prefer a pump, personally. Um, I think that this is kind of gimmicky, and I don't know. It doesn't do anything for me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it with my IT Cosmetics um, foundation brush. This is a buffing brush from Ulta. And uh, I was going to use the Beauty Blender, but I want you to see it at its fullest potential of coverage rather than half the coverage. And I already was doing the two halves of my face separate, like differently because this side has primer and this side doesn't. So I didn't want to say, well, this side had, that had primer didn't have as much coverage because I used it with the Beauty Blender. Or this side that didn't have primer had less coverage. You know what I'm saying? Um, so what I'm going to do is do both sides with the same tool. I do really like this brush. It cosmetics one. I think it's like a $40 or $50 foundation brush. So um, kind of comparable to the Sigma F80 Flat Kabuki, but better to me. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and apply this, and I'm just going to put a couple of drops on my hand first. And I found that I needed like six drops of this foundation. I do tend to use a lot more foundation than the average person, though, in my personal opinion. But anyway, I'm just going to dot this all over my face and blend it in. Okay, so I've been doing one side of my face. I used six drops to get one side of my face to be like medium to full coverage. Um, and I am not a fan of this packaging. I keep having to like put the thing back in the bottle and then it's like barely giving me anything I think this packaging is horrible actually and it's messy like the tube is getting all gross around the neck alright so this is the foundation after like eight pumps it's definitely medium to full coverage um, not luminous and not matte It's kind of like a demi matte so it'd be probably perfect for people with normal combo skin not super dry not super oily um, but yeah I think it was pretty buildable so now I'm going to use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Concealer. I have it in light medium. It says to shake um, gently. So I'm just taking off the thing. And this like eye concealer brush thing is like huge. You see how big this is? For comparison, this is the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. Just so you can see the brushes. So you can see the size difference. The small one is the Urban Decay Naked Concealer, and the big one is the Tarte one. Alright, so I'm just taking this concealer wand, and I'm going to draw a triangle there under my eye. And then I'm going to tap it out with my finger. I just tapped it out with my fingers. I think it has decent coverage. Um, I think it's pretty nice. It's not too dry. It doesn't seem to be like 
like luminous looking, but it's not matte dry either. So now I'm using the um, new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle Lighting Palette, and it has um, three shades in it. The two on the sides are shimmery like highlighters, but the center one is called Filtered Light, and it's matte sand. So that's kind of like an under eye setting powder. So I'm going to use that um, on the e.l.f. small taper brush. Any small brush will do. And I'm just going to pat that on. Just so you know what it looks like. It's on my, ring, my middle finger. It's really like nothing. You can't really see it. But I'm just kind of tapping that to set my under eye concealer. And that's all the setting I'm going to do on my face for now. Because um, I want you to be able to see how the foundation holds up on its own without being affected by powders. It has been about an hour since I first applied the foundation and the concealer. Um, I just took my hair out of the curly thingies, by the way. Um, just went and made breakfast, had my coffee, and then came back. So um, I'm ready to go ahead and do the rest of my face. That's just wanted to let you know in case you're wondering, like, oh, her hair is down now. Oh, hmm. If you hear any noises, I should have said this in the beginning, my um, laundry room is right here, up against this wall, and uh, the dryer is running. So I try not to film when I'm doing this, but it's Sunday, and this is the time I have to film. So we're going to do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do... So next thing I'm going to do is use this Tarte the Sculptor, and it's basically like a chubby crayon-like thing, and it does like, you know, come a little bit more comes out when you screw the bottom. So I'm going to draw a line there. I'm going to do one side at a time, actually. Okay, and this is my e.l.f. small stipple brush. It's like a duo fiber brush, and I'm just going to blend that in. I'm doing kind of circular motions, but I'm not going anywhere below that line. Like, I'm going to be going upwards from that line, so this area still stays nice and light. So you can see the difference. Here's the side that's been bronzed a little, and this side has not. So this is a warm color. It is not like a cool tone contour color. Um, I would say it's a warm brown. So, I already have a pretty dramatic cheek. So that is my bronzer for the day. I'm not doing like contouring and bronzing. Um, oh, I'm gonna take a little bit of this and do a couple of lines right there. It's one of the reasons I tied my hair back for this. I'm gonna do just a little bit on the sides of the nose, right under my lower lip, and one at the tip of my chin, my chinny chin chin. <laughs> Um, this is to recede any double chins. Now this isn't really a contour color, it's more of a bronzy color, but um, it is going to help make my chin look a little shorter and recede any double chin. And this line here makes my lower lip plump out to make it look a little more pouty. Now I'm going in with the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is the um, Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. Um, it was limited edition, but it's still on the Sephora website. So. Um, Anyway, there's the powder bronzer, which is very similar to the sculptor. The sculptor is described as a contouring face slenderizer, in case you were wondering. This is a deluxe size, but they do make a bigger size. Um, anyway, I'm just taking that powder bronzer and going right over exactly where I did the cream bronzer to set it. This is not shimmery. There are different versions of this Tarte Park Cavity Princess bronzer, and it comes in most of their palettes that they do that have face and eye stuff in it in them, but um, this one is not the waterproof one or the one that's like SPF, this is just a standard one, and they don't have, they also I think have a matte one and a shimmery one, this is just the matte one. I'm actually going to be using this highlighter um, before I do my blush, and that is because I'm, the blush I'm using isn't like shimmery, so I want to kind of blend the blush, the blush and the highlighter together. This one here is Sunlight, that's the highlighter I'm going to be using, it is described as champagne gold, and this one over here is called Moonlight, and it's rosy pearl. So I'm going to use Champagne Gold, the sunlight shade, and I'll use the e.l.f. small tapered brush again. And I'm applying that right at the top of the cheekbone. You see that? I just barely like swiped it on. It really gave a pop. Woo. All right, so I'm doing a C from basically like the arch of the brow or the end of the brow and the top of the cheekbones, like a C around the outer eye my middle finger and I just dabbed it in the powder and I'm putting that right on the tip of the nose. I'm mostly concentrating it on the tip of the nose but I just take whatever's left on the bridge of the nose. So I have the bronzer on the outer parts and then the highlight on the center and that makes your nose look a little slimmer. 
who doesn't like that? <laughs> and I'm also doing that on the top upper lip, um, the Cupid's bow. And I'm just taking what's left right here on the chin and between the uh, brow, center of the forehead. I wouldn't do that if you're oily in the T-zone, but I'm not too oily, so. And that just adds a pretty glow. And I will say with this highlighter, one of the things that Tarte can do, but they like choose not to, is they give you these stupid inserts with the names of the things on them, and then you're left with this thing that has no name, but the insert, you know, it's great and it tells you the names, but then you lose the insert. I don't know. They do have the names on the back printed, but that just bothers me. Does that bother you guys? Like, how much extra work is it for you to just, like, put the text, three words, on the palette? I'm using the Tarte Energy Blush. This is the Amazonian Clay Skin Intuitive 12-hour blush. And basically, it goes on like a, like a nice light pink, pinky peach, and then it's supposed to know your skin needs, like what... And it's supposed to change colors throughout the day. So I just put a little bit here on my e.l.f. Mineral Powder Brush. And maybe throughout this video we'll be able to tell. But yeah, the skin intuitive thing. I think it's supposed to change with like your pH levels and your skin, maybe? And uh, change color. We'll see. Okay, so that's one cheek done with the blush. Um, I think this blush is really pretty. It's matte or like satiny, maybe? So this is the brush that I used for the highlighter. I didn't put any more product on it, but I'm just kind of like reapplying the highlighter or blending more. I don't want clown cheeks, but I don't want it to be matte either, so I'm just adding a little bit more shimmer. For an eye base, I'm using this Tarte Emphasize. Um, this is a Amazonian Clay Waterproof Cream Shadow. It's in the shade Seashell Pink. Basically, it's like a little pot of a shimmery pink um, color. So I'm just going to use my finger and apply this to the lid. This will be like my eye base slash primer. I don't have oily lids, so I really could probably get away without using an eye base, but for the sake of it being a one brand tutorial, I want to use as much of my Tarte stuff as I can so that it gives you guys a chance if you're curious about the brand. You can uh, check them out. This is one of the new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Drench Lip Splash Lipstick. The lipstick box matches the foundation and the concealer boxes. So that's pretty cool. I have to say, 10 out of 10 for the boxes are really pretty. But yeah, this is the shade Happy. And I like the shape of the lipstick. I'm going to show you. See how it's got kind of like a point? I feel like if you're not using a liner, this would be really easy to use. So Happy is like a bit of a brighter color. It's kind of hard to describe. It's like a bright pinky coral maybe, but not too bright. It's not like neon or anything. A Tarte lipstick is called the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Drench Lip Splash Lipstick. Sephora exclusive. It's $22, 0.85 ounces, and the shade Happy is described as Rose. The other one that I was looking at was Cabana Boy, that's described as Mauve, and Beach Bum, which was Dark Nude. Um, if you like Luster Lux on YouTube, she did like a swatch video of these, so she got like the whole set. So, um, Happy is a little bit darker than I wanted. When it's described as rose, I didn't think it was going to be like bright pink. You know, I thought it was going to be like a softer pink, but that's alright. They have 12 shades of these, um, and that's pretty cool, but there are $22. The feeling is like a creamy, but not, this one is not shimmery. Um, it's matte, kind of. It says it's a full coverage matte lipstick with lip nourishing antioxidants. Saturate lips with creamy full coverage color and hydration with this long wearing satin matte lipstick. Featuring an array of bold and everyday shades, it's powered by Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea antioxidant complex and natural lip loving oils and butters. The vibrant lip formula helps firm treat and protect your lips while providing intense hydration and hiding the appearance of fine lines. Just use the crisp precise tip, huh, I mentioned that, to seamlessly define and contour your lips, delivering a rich long lasting color. Vegan dermatologist tested without parabens or phthalates. Okay, so I said the tip was really good for contouring. I didn't even realize that I was that right. Okay, so keeping the eyes kind of lighter then, since this lip is a little bit brighter, um, I'm going to use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette to do just a simple look. And um, I'm actually going to use that bronzer as my transition shade. I'm using the e.l.f. crease brush, which is just like a fluffy, blendy brush, and that... Um, Elf uh, and the Tarte 
Park Avenue Princess Bronzer here as the transition shade. And I actually really like the light pink that I used for the eye brace. I think it's really pretty, so I'm not going to need to do much. I don't have a Tarte brow product, so let me just go ahead and fill in my brows real quick, and I'll be right back. I went ahead and finished my brows and did one eye off camera just to speed things up a little bit. I'm going to be using the Tarte Frame Forest After Dark palette, and I'm using the um, the lavender shade. It's actually like a mauve lavender gray right next to the purple, and that's what I have in the outer V. It's actually pretty light, so I'm using the it uh, the Real Techniques 201 uh, Bold Metals brush with that lavender shade and I'm just like drawing a little V out here and like I said it's a pretty light shade but I like that it's like almost taupey so it's neither cool nor warm but leaning towards cool I think and uh, it's not giving me anything harsh like I said this is a daytime you know Sunday lunch with the family thing I'm not looking to you know get points for being glamorous or anything not that I get points for being glamorous but you know what I mean and then I'm using that crease brush that I used for the transition shade and just kind of blending out the edges. And then I use a pencil brush. This one is by Makeup Geek. It's super tiny. You see how teeny tiny it is? Um, and I'm using the highlighter in here. And this is just like a white... Um, this is just like a shimmery white... I'm going to draw a little line right underneath from the arch of the brow outward. Just lightly taking whatever's left on the brush under the whole brow, but I want to make sure I get from the outer arch outwards. And then I'm taking that same brush, same color, and drawing a V here at the outer eye. That's about it for the eyeshadow, believe it or not. Um, you know, you could just keep going back in with your blending brush and blending out the edges and softening if you feel the need. But that's pretty much all I'm going to do. So now for liner, I'm using a Tarte Cream Liner. Emphasize Cream Liner. This is actually in the shade Shimmering Rich Chocolate. Um, to me, it looks black, but it's close up. I'll show you a little bit closer. It's a shimmering dark, dark brown. Um, and this is the Emphasize Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. And the brush actually came with it. It's a Tarte uh, brand eyeliner brush. Um, it's got like a really skinny tip so I can paint. And all I'm doing is going to draw a little line, a thin line, and then I'm going to extend it out just a little bit past the eye for a bit of a wing. But it's very thin there so it almost just looks like one of my lashes. I also own this in Shimmering Black Night instead of the brown and that looks almost exactly the same so I figured I'd do brown if there was a hint of softness to it for daytime I would use that then I went in with the Tarte um, this is a Tarte eyeliner in the color bronze and I'm going to use that on my tight line and then I'm using a Tarte liner in nude and I'm going to put that on the waterline and do a very small line here under the lashes, barely, and only going about halfway over. I'm trying the Tarte Tartist uh, mascara, and this is like their new lash paint mascara. Um, I have a deluxe size sample. Alright, so this is basically the finished look. All I'm going to do is spray some of this um, new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. I'm going to add some hydration. I'm really dry around here right now, and I think that's because I've been using like salicylic acne treatments for my acne, so makes sense, but hmm, it actually smells really good. It smells like, um, I don't know, citrusy, kind of? It smells like Sprite. It smells like I'm spraying straight up Sprite on my face. Am I the only one? Have you guys tried this? Does it smell like Sprite to you? I don't know. Yeah, totally Sprite. <laughs> Okay, so this is the finished look for my um, Tarte One Brand tutorial. I would like to just kind of point out some of the standouts from the line, some of the things that I think are amazing, and the other things that I'm like, yeah, that's all right. 
Um, I think that the lip product is nice. It is a lot darker than I was bargaining for. So um, keep that in mind. They are darker. To me, this one is darker. I only bought one. I am interested in a couple of other shades, but I think I will hold off for now. I don't know if these are limited edition. I don't want to buy a ton and then find out they're limited edition and I can't use them on my channel because they're no longer available. I try to not use limited stuff that you can't purchase yourselves anymore in case you see me use it in a video and you're like, I like that. And then I'm like, just kidding, you can't have it. Um, but yeah, I'm having some totally crazy allergy moments today. Like my eyes are a little red and my nose, I swear, I just like keep having to blow it. So um, I didn't add any foundation or anything. I'm just trying to make use of whatever's left on this brush. But anyway, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what other videos you want to see next. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.